Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee, and today this is going to be a little short episode. I had to totally redo my entire video capture setup, thanks to some changes in the NVIDIA experience or whatever. It's 3.0, more like 3.0 oh no, so hopefully this video actually makes it to YouTube. If there's any weird glitches or whatever, please know that I'm going to try and fix them as soon as I can. This is kind of a, uh, just a test, making sure the video and the audio work once I make the video. Now, I was actually planning on doing a video today where I was going to talk at length and build stuff at length, but instead I'm going to talk briefly and build stuff briefly, which I think is still going to be pretty okay. I just don't want to have as high a failure problem if I record this entire video and then lose it all, so I don't go slowly mad. Speaking of going slowly mad, you know what's always unfortunate is missing out on fun stuff. And me and my friends, who all, all live in town now, like several of my friends after college, they like moved out and then have since like moved back into town. And we started talking about how um, like a lot of times there will be things going on around town and we don't find out about them until later. Like we'll see people tweeting about them and we have already missed the event. Like, oh, here's photos from this thing I was at earlier today. And we're just like, oh my goodness, wish we would have known about that thing. So one thing that we tried doing was having an event planning party. And because we'd started talking, and originally my friend Brian Burke, who's one of the guys who uh, helped write Pitfalls and Penguins, he pitched the idea of like, oh, let's set up a, uh, a group calendar for all of, uh, all of the Nashville crew, and uh, let's, let's get a, all the events on there that we all want to talk about or possibly go to, like anything we're interested in. And so the problem with talking about setting up a group calendar like that is even though everyone thinks it's a good idea, nobody actually creates it or starts adding events or what have you. So, this, uh, this stairwell here, I was trying to figure out what to use this space for, and I was thinking a, a stairwell down to a room might be good, but man, this is going to be a tight squeeze. Let's just see how it works. Anyway, so, after a few weeks when nobody actually did anything on the calendar, I was like, well, why don't we do, like, a party where we all bring our laptops, and we stream the calendar to the big TV, and we talk about events and, like, places in town that we want to do stuff at. So, like, everybody brought a few places that they're fond of, like, different museums or theaters or, or um, you know, the symphony or whatever. And then pitched, like, a few things. Like, oh, hey, let's all look at this calendar and see if there's anything on here we like. You know, I like this stairwell. Just don't like where it goes. Now, if I actually dig through here, I think I'm going to end up in Atno Hills' little, uh, little area. Like, I can't just knock down this wall, can I? Without, like, penalty? Maybe I can't. No, definitely cannot. Dang it. Okay. Well, I don't want to redo the entire stables. And, whoa. I, well, I guess without affecting the stability of all this too much, I could maybe, like this, I don't even remember what I was going to do with this space. Oh, I guess I put a chicken there. That was good planning. Um, I could bring this entire wall out a little bit. This entire room here. Because right now it's like under where the uh, base of the house was, I think. Or like where the original wall of the house is. And then move this wall. Because this wall doesn't need to be too wide, necessarily. Now, of course, I don't have a silk touch pick. So that's going to be a problem. But I can, I can kind of clean this up a little bit. And we'll just kind of route around that damage by ignoring it. Whoops. And that's creating more problems. So anyway, I was just thinking, you know, maybe that'd be something cool that other people would like to do. Well, so just knocking it back, this one isn't going to fix this, so dang it. I can neither make a... I can neither... I can neither... I can neither, nor can I neither, make a video about events, nor can I figure out what I want to do with this stairwell. Because I was thinking originally I'd have a room down here that this would lead to, but now that I've got the stairwell in here as just kind of a stairwell, I'm kind of wondering if I like this more than the ladder over there for just coming up and down. Like maybe what I do is I convert, like I continue the stairwell to right here, and then have another um, have another uh, doorway here. So like if I take this right here and knock this out. Oh, and there's a cave right there, so I'm going to have to be very aware of that. That's a, a reality that I will have to bear in mind and in my heart. Okay. So, boom. Then what I can do is I can just set up a, a uh, 
stand oh, dang it, I was gonna say I can set up my standard structure that I would do for these, but then that's gonna interfere with these pumpkins. Dang it. Okay, so I'm gonna need to put the hardened clay there. Or this is gonna look really silly. Dang it, where's my red hardened clay? You are needed. Or orange, whatever. One of you. There you go. So then we kinda clean this one up too. Go ahead here, grab, boom, boom. Well, I, I, technically, I guess I need to put fence gates in to make this uh, complete. But, of course, I'm gonna, I am gonna—I can get more of those. That's fine. Am I using the wrong fence? No, I'm using the right fence. If I don't close this up, though, I'm going to actually have creepers or something wandering up into my house. Like, I just know it. I cannot allow this to uh, abide uh, without a hindrance. So let's go ahead and reseal this gate. Come here. We got no timber on us. Dang it. Such good planning. All my planning went into making sure that this video would actually record. I recorded like, I don't know, 25, 30 second test footages. Footages. So I'm really hoping this comes out. Whirlwind video. Whirlwind video. Whirlwind video. Here we go. Oak fence gates. If I just say whirlwind video enough times, somebody will go, you know, that's a really good name for a video store. And that'll be one more life I've ruined. So, here we go. Yeah, that's... Hmm. That, that kind of works. It doesn't... It just makes this one feel even less good, though. Like, if I seal this up here, that, like, kind of fits the, the style more for these. Well, no, because this isn't one, two, and then one, two, then makes a U. So this one... Over here goes one, two, and then actually, yeah, that's actually complete already. Cool. So we now have two doors here, and we have a thing we cannot move. So what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of everything we've done so far. And I've got a book somewhere. Where did the book go? It was in here all along. And we're going to grab three of these and... We're gonna make ourselves an enchanting pick and go enchant. I destroyed my only crafting bench. No! My craftingness! Okay, yeah, that was a mistake. I can't believe that was the only crafting bench in the room, but now that I don't have one, I completely believe that. There is nothing implausible about, about that happening to me. That is, I get it, these things happen. Come on, where are my books? Boom. We're going to take At No Hills here for a ride over to the bookmobile in the municipal district of town. Whoa, we got some crazy lagging happening. Wait, can I verify if Jump Boost works on horses? Well, no, I can't because I don't know his original jump height. But I'm going to assume that was a really high jump. Okay, continuing onward to the municipal district where we can enchant a brand new pickaxe with Silk Touch and then move that crazy, crazy box. I know there's a name for those boxes. They're like um, beginner's boxes or something. No, they're like toy chests. There's something there. I don't know. To the bookmobile, which someday will be a real library, I promise. Yay. In fact, uh, Isuma said earlier today that he really wants to see people doing more building in this district. So I think that that might be exciting to see. Did I not put a... I don't have a workbench in here either. I thought like, oh, well, it doesn't matter that there's not a workbench there because as soon as I get to there, there will be one. No, goodness gracious, alive. That is a deep misfortune. There's got to be a workbench over somewhere. Come on. What about up here? Dang it. Horses do not like stairs, I'll tell you that. Any uh, workbenches in here? No, I've never actually been in Scar's Chamber. Wait, did they take down the stairs for the witness stand? What's up with that? That's weird. Okay, well, whatever. Weird courthouses are weird. Ah, getting stuck on stuff. Okay, okay. So, whoa. <sighs> all, all this jumpiness. I'm getting too jumpy. I'm jumping off this horse. Too much. Too much jumpiness. Oh, there's actually a place to park horses here not a parkour course it's a park horse place so 
I don't know what that's supposed to be other than an even worse version of what I had at the other place. Um, oh, I have two crafting tables with me. So ignore all of that up to this point. Once I get back here, it's going to be great. Sometimes we make mistakes about the things we take in our inventory. And everyone says, hey, Joe, did you do that on purpose? Is that part of the story? And I say, no way. That's just the sort of thing that happens to me because I don't get enough sleep because of a baby. That's also why there's no internal rhyme whenever I slime my way through this. Uh oh, I think I'm waking up the baby. Unbreaking three, efficiency three. Let's go ahead and get uh, unbreaking three. Efficiency four, unbreaking three, great. And so now we can just take this back to the anvil, which does not exist here. To the anvil across the server. Somewhere back home, I'm sure I've got... Do I have one in my inventory? I do. I literally have an, an anvil in my inventory right now. Okay, well, keeping that in mind, we are going to take that and we're going to place it somewhere. Yeah, I'm really regretting ripping out that wall that had my craft bench and anvil now, because that, that really tied the whole room together. Whoa, what is this? I don't understand what that is. It's probably some sort of modern art. You know me, I don't understand anything that happened after 1950. I'm like, what moon landing? You used how many stages of propulsion? Telephones? You copper paired twisted wires? What? Oh wait, no, telephones were around before that. They were in Lassie. Lassie's old, so that's how you can tell. Um, so, yeah, I'm... I'm realizing this really puts a... Maybe I should make this kind of a, a crafty area over here, maybe? And I have a little anvil... anvilorium over here. Anvilornian armor? I don't... There's something there. Dang it, okay. Fortune 3. Did I not actually get the silk touch book out of the thing here? Silk touch, great. Glad I didn't put that anvil down somewhere else. Let's try swapping these. Okay, there we go. Now we can just knock away at that. Yay, we did it. So, once again, this was a very short episode because I literally have no idea if it recorded at all. I hope that the video quality turns out okay. I hope the audio quality turns out okay. If not, I apologize, but I will do better. I will continue to refine my processes and do all that I can to improve. Well, I hope you guys have it good night and a good day and you know what am I saying I'm just like you know I'm, just, I'm like I think my brain is just like Joe you've only been recording for like 15 minutes you need to you need to keep talking but I don't brain brain you're wrong what I need to do is I need to exert some willpower and fight it in my heart to say that until next time y'all this is Joe Hills from Nashville Tennessee keep adventuring <laughs>